Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to combine XCSS subscaler with FSR frame generation or XCSS frame generation in Blackmagic Pocong running on my ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11, AMD Radeon 780M GPU. We will be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. With XCSS frame generation, XCSS low latency mode will work and with FSR frame generation, anti-lag 2 will work. I have already tested both of these frame generation techniques. In Wokong, I would recommend using XCSS frame gen as its latency is lower than that of FSR frame gen. It also does not produce any ghosting around the feet of our character during fast visual motion when our character is standing on his cloud. FSR frame gen produces some ghosting. On AMD GPUs, if you are using OptiScaler mod in this game, it's not recommended to enable DXGI setting. This setting is used for spoofing GeForce GPUs. It produces some graphical artifacts. If you set the texture setting to anything other than low, the ground textures are not rendered properly in snowy areas. They appear blue in color. So to unlock the in-game DLSS settings, I'll be using Opti Patcher instead of TXGI spoofing. Opti Patcher won't produce any graphical artifacts. Just download the latest test build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9.0 preview 2 available on their Discord server. I'll give its link in the description. Click on the dot link here. We'll be using version 0.25 of Opti Patcher. It's available on GitHub, OptiScaler's GitHub. Again, I'll give its link in the description. Expand the set section. Click on the dot .asi link. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Copy the highlighted files. OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.dll, XCSS files. DirectX LAN version is not required. Fake NV API files. They will replace the in-game reflex implementation with either anti-lag 2 or XCSS low latency mode. AMD Fidelity FX files, upscaler, DX12, frame generation, DX12, legacy file, copy. Open the games install directory, select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open B1 folder, binaries folder, bin64 folder, paste everything here. Now just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. Now create a new folder named plugins in this directory where you install optiscaler mod folder plugins. Inside this folder we need to paste optiscaler.asi file. Spelling mistake my bad. Copy optipatcher.asi file need to paste it in the plugins folder that we just created open the games install directory b1 folder binaries win64 plugins paste now just open optiscaler.ini file scroll down until you find the spoofing section here look for a line name dxgi and just set it to false Disable DXGI spoofing. Scroll down until you find plugin section. From here, just set load ASAP plugins to true. Click on file, save, close. We need to disable dilated motion vectors in order to use XCSS frame generation. Just need to add this line to the game's engine.ini file. Copy it from here. I'll provide the line in the description of the video. And just go to C drive, open users folder. Open the folder that has the same name as your PC's username. Open app data folder. If this folder is not visible on your PC, click on view. Go to show, check the setting, hidden items. Open local folder. Open B1 folder. Open saved folder. Open config folder. Open windows folder. Here look for a file name engine.ini, there it is, open it. Scroll down to the end and add the lines. Paste. There you go. Give some space. Click on file. Save. Close. Adrenaline settings for Wukong. Free sync and vsync enable. I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install Ally's latest official GPU driver that added support for Battlefield 6 using a 20 sandwatts manual profile all 3 power value set it. 
27 watts CPU boost disabled now I was not able to get XSS frame generation working at 720p or 900p resolution had to set the resolution to full HD just keep this in mind connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to ally via Bluetooth mode X input controller will be using adrenaline's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics RTSS can affect the functioning of OptiScaler mod the mod even comes with its own performance overlay I will be enabling it as well accessibility setting from here make sure motion blur is disabled display settings set the display mode to borderless full HD resolution is very important Vsync or North case cap applied motion blur again disabled camera shake nil graphics super resolution set to 33 basically the performance preset upscaler set to DLSS this means optiscaler mode is working retracing is off I have set the anti lazing quality to medium texture quality set to medium global illumination medium rest of the settings low yeah, we are in open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key and just increase its size click on the top turn bar next to menu us scale set the value to 1.3 from this top turn bar make sure xcss upscaler is selected version 2.0.2 input in game dlss dxj spoofing it's disabled auto explorer setting is on no frame generation selected for the time being show you the base game performance i'll enable optiscaler's performance only expand fps overlay section check the setting fps overlay enable full plus graph there it is it's a bit small in size increase its size via menu us scale 1.5 Say why and I close the land in this area is covered with snow still no graphical artifacts are produced all thanks to opti patcher if I had enabled TXGI spoofing graphical artifacts would have occurred this game supports XCSS frame generation officially but for some reason I was not able to access this setting even after manually updating the in-game XCSS files to the latest ones and that's why I'm using OptiScaler mod FPS stays close to 37 this is the base game performance now I'll show you how to enable of the XCSS frame gen just open the mod menu click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSS via streamline as the option the game supports DLSS frame generation and streamline version 2.7 so this option will work just fine it will unlock the in-game DLSS frame generation setting click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG now you just need to click on save INI mod settings won't get reset after restarting the game close now we need to restart the game play we are in go to graphic settings need to enable DLSS frame generation make sure super resolution sampling is set to DLSS and frame generation is set to this setting showing up in Chinese language the other option will unlock the setting below frame generation so select this option that grays out the setting below frame generation rest of the settings are left as they are apply Open OptiScaler menu, check this setting active under frame generation XCFG, current streamline FG state on debug view. You will see these purple sidebars if XCSS frame gen is working. Frame time graph became thick. This means XCSS frame gen is indeed working. I'll just use XCSS inspect app to verify the status of XCSS features. Run the app, select Blackmic Wukong, double click. XCSS frame generation context it's running XCLL context low latency mode is on you can see the valid frames back to the game FPS increased to around 52 check out the real world latency nothing extreme I was expecting the latency to be much worse than this as the base FPS here is close to 35 no graphical artifacts are produced 
okay now I'll test again in another area last chapter chapter loaded up in this level we can fly around on a cloud I'll just summon it here FPS is around 63 frame generation did not get disabled when I summon my cloud FPS around 62 I'll just spin the camera just observe my character speed no ghosting is produced around the feed FSR frame generation will produce some ghosting I'll show you how to switch to FSR there is a giant insect nearby there it is just open optiscale malt menu click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG click on save INI restart the game play make sure DLSS frame generation setting is enabled from the in-game settings we are in open optiscale menu check this setting active under frame generation FSI FG current streamline FG state on I just change the position of optiscaler performance overlay bottom right show you FSR frame gen debug view also enable allow async setting debug view on no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image interface won't flicker with FSR frame gen enabled the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect of FSR will work properly displays are working properly for all of the images disable the deeper view enable anti lactose latency monitor by pressing the hotkey combo all shift nl keep pressing the combo to cycle through the different display options there you go ok FPS is around 70 with FSR frame gen with XCSS frame gen here we were getting around 60 to 62 FPS with FSR frame gen FPS is close to 70 check out the real world latency I'll be honest XCSS frame gen's latency was better than that of FSR frame gen observing a higher latency in the case of FSR frame gen ok now I'll summon my cloud keep an eye on the FPS counter frame generation didn't get disabled now I'll spin the camera just observe my character speed yeah you can see the ghosting effect ghosting is produced around the feed even around the cloud when I spin the camera <laughs> there is the giant insect ok now I'll switch to in game FSR frame generation test it as well open the mod menu click on the drop down bar next to FG source select no frame generation click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select no frame generation click on save INI close restart the game and just set super resolution sampling to FSR frame generation to this value this will enable FSR frame generation and this disables NVIDIA reflex apply optiscalar settings upscalar XCSS input change to FSR 3 TXGS proofing off auto explore setting on no frame generation selected from here yeah, back to the game FPS is around 63 60 to 63 smoothing effect is not very impressive and I can observe some latency XCSS frame generation produced the lowest latency among all of these frame generation techniques I'll just summon my cloud keep an on the FPS counter yeah frame generation got disabled FPS dropped to around 35 so no graphical artifacts are produced around our feet when we are standing on the cloud 
that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day